All right, Bonehawks, this video is all about Mortal Kombat 1, and this is kind of a big deal. New news today, as you know, on this channel, I'm trying to keep you updated on all the Mortal Kombat 1 news as I can, as soon as I can. For busy people, you know, I, I feel like we're, we've got a good vibe here, you know? We're, we're keeping you in the loop with Mortal Kombat stuff. So, with that being said, big announcement today, and that is... The dates for the beta access. So if you pre-ordered the game on Xbox or PlayStation 5, kind of disappointing. I'm sorry, PC and Switch, womp womp, no beta for you. No, no talks about crossplay here. So I, don't, I mean, they haven't said crossplay at all, which is kind of concerning to me. I'm going to get to that in a little bit here. Um, but yeah, so August 18th to the 21st, PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. You will be able to participate in the beta if you have pre-ordered the game. So that's important. Make sure you've pre-ordered the game so you can get access to this beta. Uh, I'll probably be streaming most of my gameplay of this beta, you know, live here on YouTube. We also stream on Twitch, by the way. Uh, so if you haven't, links in the description, follow me there. But um, I like to do some live streams on YouTube as well just to kind of interact with, with you all. And I don't know, get to know people who are watching me. So I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm kind of wholesome that way. You know what I'm saying? So I think at this point, if they haven't announced crossplay, it's probably not going to happen on launch, which really sucks because that kind of puts them behind like other fighting games, like Street Fighter VI, full crossplay. Doesn't matter who you're playing, what console, whatever, you can play rooms, whatever. It's all good. Connection is stable, that kind of thing. Uh, I, th I believe Tekken 8 is kind of rumored to have the same thing. So I'm a little bit dis disappointed that Mortal Kombat 1 doesn't have that, but hopefully they'll implement it at some point because they did have the beta for Mortal Kombat 11, but. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. That's that's a really big thing for fighting games these days. And, and especially because the PC and the Switch port are done kind of separately from NRS. So it's kind of like, nah, I don't know, dude. Like, that could be something kind of crazy. So we'll see. Hope for the best. They've been kind of quiet on the topic, but we'll see what they say. Uh, that's really all the news about the beta stuff that I had. I just wanted to talk about community stuff with you because... For those that don't know, every once in a while I like to post on the community tab just to kind of engage a little bit in, you know, in times where maybe, you know, I would don't have anything to post or I just want to get some opinions on something. And I'm like, I could be one of those crappy YouTubers that just makes like an eight minute video about a topic that doesn't really matter. <laughs> so instead, I'll just post it on the community tab. So I'll try to be a little bit more active on there. And recently I asked you this. All right. What's Luke Kang's deal? Best response gets a shout out. Big Good, 58% of 444 votes said that he was the Big Good. 19% said he was the Big Bad. And 23% said or, or, and elaborated. And this post, I'm going to keep this post up on the community tab. Uh, if you want to go and read or add your own kind of things to it. Uh, I don't know, I like it. I like engaging with you guys and and getting to hear some of uh, your thoughts and opinions on things and i gotta give a a shout out to the runner-up because i did well, i wasn't going to do this but this it, it just made me laugh like he's mad because katana hasn't thrown him any ass since mortal kombat 9 which is like if i think about it like he's just like man i haven't been laid let me just take <laughs> he just killed this demigod and like get a hold of this this hourglass and just change everything so that i can Bang Katana. Hilarious. Runner-up, but not my favorite. Um, my favorite was actually this one. Uh, ironically, he has the same values as Kronika, but different spectrums. She wanted combat. He wants peace. In his heart, he truly wants characters like Tanya, Melina, Baraka to live their lives as normal as possible. But there is no peace without combat. Even if you set up a path for someone, there's certain inevitable inevitabilities even a god can't eliminate. Baraka becomes Tarkatan. Melina becomes evil with... Tarkat and Jeans, Bihan is still a complete jerk, Kenshi is blinded, etc. And I think this is this is really solid. Like I really like where you're going, Renee. I think I think I, I pronounced that correctly. Uh, yeah. So thank you for contributing to that. Uh, that was my favorite response on the community tab. I'm gonna try and post there every time I go live on Twitch as well. It's a different platform, so I feel like if you if you don't if you don't mess with that platform, it's all good. We're gonna be doing YouTube streams as well. Uh, but it's just something extra for because there are people over there that don't follow over here and you know how that whole thing goes so and uh, yeah 
that's basically the video. Just a little update on the beta and then some community stuff I wanted to throw in. If you like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments down below because I can do more of it. I, I like giving shout outs and I like acknowledging people and getting to know people and their and their uh, their thoughts and that kind of thing. So that being said, there's one more thing I need to shout out. In my most recent video uh, about the combat pack cameos, the description read, which one of these are you most hyped for? It's Movado for me. I typed this as if you didn't watch the video. Did you watch the video? More importantly, do you read the description? If you did, you get a dance move from me. Claim your dance move in the comments. And only one person claimed the dance move. So big congrats, fubster 50 -ify. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, instead of my usual outro, I'm just gonna dance to this, whatever this music is on this Shang Tsung's Island Ruins for 20 seconds. So, hope you appreciate it. Appreciate you checking out the descriptions. Maybe I'll I'll hide some more Easter eggs and kind of stuff in there for you. If that's, uh, if that's what you're into, go digging. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't because I make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff. And we'll see all you Bonehawks in the next video.